Hello, my rats. Are you ready for a ratitude check? Because I am. Um, ignore my girl mess beside me. Behind, yeah, behind, beside me. If you're watching this on YouTube, which by the way, this is available on YouTube. I hear some people like that. I've never been a YouTube girly myself, but I get it. I do get it. I just, you know, I, it's like a phase I miss. That makes me sound old, but whatever. Um, my girl mess is behind me. I just did my makeup just for you guys. I felt like I'm just gonna look so cute. And you know what I used? And I haven't used it in a long time. Actually, I found a new lip combo. Posted an Instagram reel on that. But um, my... The Mesmerize by Rare Beauty, the highlighter, used it on the tip of my nose. I can't stop staring at the tip of my nose now. And my cheeks look amazing too. I'm bragging, but it just, it went well. And I wasn't even trying that much because I was like, I'm not going anywhere after this. This is just for the rats. But it goes to show, you know, a good little product can really elevate a look. I, highlighter, forever... I'm upset that I it took me so long to get on that train because I thought because I had textured skin. I'm sure some of you have heard me say this a million times, by the way. But because I had textured skin, I was like, oh, I can't use highlighter. Because honestly, like, highlighter highlights my acne. Or so I thought. And then it was also like, highlighter also can make texture look bigger. Which is a thing. Like, reflective elements. That's why I don't use glowy foundation. But anyways, it was a mistake because it makes your makeup look so good. I'll never stop using highlighter. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. Okay, today we're spilling tea and I'm really excited. I personally have some tea. That's why I thought, let's do a tea episode. So my tea actually just freaking sucks, but my TikTok account is under warning. Like it's been really stressful because that is definitely my main source of income. Like, yes, I want to be a working actor. Yes, I am a working actor. Like that's my job, but my side hustle is TikTok and she helps me exist and feed my dog. And not even that well, like I'm not that successful at it as I told you in the social media episode. So obviously um, if TikTok hates me, it's a problem. And also the TikTok ban question mark. Um, it's been a really fun time over here. Also it's tax season, which just makes things everything more fun and scary. But yeah, I literally woke up um, Wednesday, Monday morning. No, it was literally Monday morning, the most Monday morning ever. And I literally opened TikTok and it's like account warrant, a warning, like you're harassing your followers. And I was like, that's not true at all. That's definitely a lie. What do you mean? And it was the rat emoji because I reply to you guys with the rat emoji. My literal brand, the key to my heart, the key to my soul, the key to my personality, the rat. I'm not allowed to use it anymore on TikTok. I'm shocked, I'm shocked. I'm shocked the universe wanted to punish me that bad. I'm like, this has to be a joke or it has to mean something. You know when something's so silly and so stupid, it has to mean something? This needs to mean something to me. This needs to mean something because this is a problem in my life. I've found so much joy connecting with the rat community and I'm so glad I could put a name to how I feel inside. And when I put a name to that thing and was able to share it with others, others were like, I'm like that too. It's been one of the most special experiences of my, my life online, okay? So I'm super gutted. I'm super crushed. The fact that all of my branding is a rat is makes it really stressful that I can't use it on TikTok because I don't know if you haven't noticed, I got way more followers there than I do anywhere else because nobody cares about me anywhere else except for the rats, you know what I mean? But anyways, it's very stressful. So then I was like messaging people and I'm like, hey, do you know anyone at contact um, at TikTok to help me? Because I'm, I'm really stressed out because this is, again, how I pay my bills and I don't even pay them that well with this. So it's like extra stressful, okay? It's not like I have a bunch of savings. It's just really not. Um, and the acting career is cricket, cricket. But I'm working on it. I'm trying. I'm actually waiting for a call for a callback right now. I did a callback the other day. It went so well. I'm like, just pick me, choose me, love me, Meredith Grey. Come on. So since it's a tea podcast, I'll tell you the other times I've gotten in trouble on TikTok um, just as some fun tea. Um, during the pandemic, I did a like a workshop with Bare Minerals and they had Hailey Bieber on. So I was on Zoom, camera on and everything with Hailey Bieber, which was so cool. I was naive at the time. I didn't know that the beef between the Selena Gomez fans and the Hailey Bieber fans was so strong. Let me tell you, it is so strong. And... In the video, I said she was so nice and I learned her blush combo. And the fact that I said she was so nice caused an uproar and people started reporting my account, which was really stressful and crazy, honestly, because um, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not her. I like her. I like Selena. I, I don't want to be in this. I don't want to be in this. It's kind of nuts. But yeah, they were reporting my account and then TikTok's like, are you a bully? And I'm like, I swear to God, I am not. I swear I am not a bully. Very stressful. Anyways, that worked out fine. Um, but it was stressful at the time. 
And when was the other time? Oh, diabetes. Um, I wanted to just normalize my disease. How insane. How insane to want to just normalize the fact that I use needles. And then TikTok was like, you're doing drugs. I was like, I am not. <laughs> I am not. I'm taking insulin, which my body needs to live. Also, if you're on YouTube, you can see my terrible posture in the back of the thing here. It's giving, yikes, I'm going to use my hair to cover my back here. It's stressing me out. I hate my posture. Um, so that's some of my tea. I'm gonna get into your guys' tea though because you guys sent some very fun tea. Also, I really want to cut my hair and when I put my hair behind my back, I'm like, I want to cut it. Like, I feel like this looks so cute. But also, no, I think the shorter actually looked better on me. So I am gonna do it. I was actually supposed to do it today. That would have been fun to do this episode with short hair. But because of this callback, I couldn't chop all my hair off because if they like your look, then you're on like hold technically. I know these are like actor terms you might not know, but essentially your look goes on hold, right? Because if they want to cast you in the commercial, they want to cast you as you came in. So then I couldn't do anything with my hair. I had to cancel my appointment, but hopefully I get this job. And then after the job, I think I'm going to cut my hair. Kind of glad I didn't cut it today though because it is snowing and to do a big life change like that, I kind of need the weather to be good. Amplify the vibes. Do you know what I mean? Okay, gonna read some of your stuff now. And I'm keeping it anonymous, obviously. But some of this is juicy. High school sophomore boyfriend married my cousin during senior year. Why would you do that? Like, why would you do that? I mean, love is love. Love is love. I hope they're very happy together. But also, I don't think that thought could even cross my brain. I'd be like, well, that's weird. Well, that's really strange. Like, unless you guys were just like, cute boyfriend girlfriend like it wasn't that serious then maybe you could get away with that but at the same time you have to live with this information for all time and that's just not fair who would want to do that to family like what was your cousin thinking I mean love is love right like sometimes that happens but also that must just permanently be awkward I would never want to see an ex-boyfriend never never I would never I would never who would ever want to do that who would ever want to see one even when it ends badly it's oh I don't want to see you again though I don't need to see, I don't want to revisit any of those memories. Ew, ew, ew. That's a shame. This guy at work effed twin sisters, so now their kids are cousins and half siblings. I can't. There's, their kids are cousins and half siblings. Again, why would you do that? Why, why, sir? Why? Why, sir? Why? A, okay, first let's, let's talk about sir here in the equation what the fuck like what were you doing that's demented you're gross you're sick you just know this guy's sick you know he's sick he's sick he's sick he's a sick 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 puppy number two sisters what are we doing which sister is the backstabber because one of you is that's disturbing why would you want to do that if sister number one has already gone that's that i don't care if this is the most good looking man on the planet you're not doing that and then to procreate with the same man and your sisters. It's giving circus. I don't want to judge. But I am. Unfortunately. Because that's what this episode kind of is. I'm sure they make it work. I'm sure we could say lovely things. See, this is what I do. Remember I told you guys last last week. I was like, this is the Libra in me. I'm like, oh, but you know what? It works for them. And they're probably fine. Other half of me, what the F? That's disgusting, Dave. Why'd you do that? I didn't spoil someone's name there. I just said Dave. Uh, could have been John. Could have been Jacob. If we were to name this man, my guess is his name is Jason, actually, because that's just a horrible name. Sorry if your boyfriend or husband or your name is Jason or your future child's name is Jason. I don't like it. I don't like it because my mom didn't like it. She always told us growing up that Jasons are always dicks. And she was a school teacher and she was like, Jasons were always the worst kids in the class. And after watching The Bachelor and certain online dating shows, I would have to agree that Jasons don't tend to be good people. Name one good Jason. I'll give you a second. Can we name a good Jason? I can't. Anyways, so Jason's a freak. Um, now, sisters, what the F? How do you look at each other? And which one is he still with? <gasps> which one is he still with? Because that's even worse. Or is it a thruple? Is it a thruple? Which one is he with? That would be hard for everyone involved. The kids, do they look alike? Think about it. Same man and twins. Are they identical twins? Would they be identical children? This is, um, it always blows my mind that this stuff can happen, but then I watch, like, Netflix documentaries, and I'm like, oh, yeah, humans are so freaky. Like, there are some freaky, freaky humans out there, and this is an example of that. I found out my situationship 
has a new girlfriend because I recognized his shoe on her be real. <laughs> oh no, that means you know the new girlfriend. And also, are they a situationship or are you now like the other woman somehow? I'm too old to know what a situationship is. Like when I was dating, it was eight years ago and that wasn't a word. Um, so I don't really know what is entailed in a situationship. I think it means more like you guys enjoy each other's company and certain benefits from that situation, but there's, oh yeah, situation, right? Um, but there's no binding contract of verbal contract of you are my girlfriend and your wee wee stays away from other peepees. <laughs> Put that in urban, put that in urban dictionary. <laughs> put that under situationship. No verbal contract. <laughs> Wee wees and peepees. I hate myself. Okay. Um, I hate that I said that a lot. I really hate that I said that. It's because my brain automatically goes to like, don't curse. So then I say weird stuff instead. Anyways. Um... I'm guessing you're allowed to fuck other people. There's the adult way to say it and crass way to say it. Um, I'm guessing you're allowed to have sex with other people. There's the nice way I should have said it the first time. Three tries and we got there. Excellent. Um, wow. Um, I don't know what your responsibility is in this then if you're the situation. And I know I'm not supposed to be giving advice right now. I'm not giving advice. I'm just chatting with you guys. Like, what is your responsibility in this now? Do you have to find out I guess you know what I would probably because I'm me because I'm me and I can't leave shit alone oh drop my pen because I'm me and like I have a moral compass that sometimes like is annoying like I can't let things go because I'm like well well this is a problem um I probably would have I'd probably go to the situation ship also did I just assume who was who here so so yes so if it was me I'd probably like go to this man and be like hey noticed you probably have a new girlfriend is it a girlfriend or another situation ship? And do they know about me? Because if they don't, that's weird, bro. And like, you should be better, do better. And then your situation, I don't know how a situation ship work, but he's probably gonna be like, you're too much work. I'm out. And in which case, it doesn't sound like you dodged a bullet. Um, but I would check in. That, that, that'd be me. But I'm A, 10% nosy. B, 90%, I don't want drama. So you better clear this up. Like, I don't need to be the source of pain in someone's life. Like that would bother me a lot. <laughs> but also you do you, like your situation ship and you know that situation better than I do. So proceed however you want. Cause you definitely didn't ask me. I just am me and I'm gonna, that's well, you know, this guy I'm seeing has seen Dune four times in one week, but won't text me back. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. See you later, alligator. Ew. If that didn't give you the ick, I don't know what else can. I don't know what else can. That would give me the ick. That would ick me right up. I think you have the ick because of how that's written. That's written with, I'm aware. I'm aware of what's happening here and I'm sassy about it and I like this sassy. I think you should lean into it. Also, guy I'm seeing, I know, I know, you can't just be like, hey, why the fuck can't you text me back? But you can see Dune like a fucking four-hour movie four times, bitch. We can't be doing that. I get that. And you might really like this guy, but you should talk to him about his communication issues. Because, ew. Ew. I don't need someone living, breathing, sleeping me. So, but what I'm saying is I don't need someone who's like, doting on me 24 seven, but like, yeah, if it's been a week and you've seen the same movie four times, maybe text me, maybe touch grass, maybe touch, maybe, maybe realize that like a real life human who is probably amazing is uh, waiting for you to have better communication because communication is key, okay? I left my roommate for a week and al algae grew in the shower and the microwave was exploded. I wonder why that has anything to do with you leaving. That's crazy. Like, what were they doing in there? Having the steamiest showers ever? Do they not do that when you're around? Like, are they like, oh, I better conserve water in case my roommate's judging me. But then when you left, they were like, let me steam it up in here and just make it steamy forever. Also exploding the microwave. It seems like somehow you are their mother and they're behaving in the space as though mother is there. And when mother left, they were like, Bye. Bye, rules. 
I'm going to be my unhinged self now that this person that makes me feel like I have to act a certain way is gone. I'm not, that's not a judgment on you, by the way. That's not me saying like your mother. I'm just saying like mother as a figurehead, you know, like the mom of the group or just like as a, as a neutral figurehead in the space. I actually learned during acting class once in every relationship and every dynamic, there's a parent and there's a child. And, and that makes things sound weird, but it all it really means is someone is taking care of things and like keeping people on track. And then another person is just like carefree and whimsical and spontaneous and it can rotate in different ways. But it seems like you are the parent in this situation. And I'm sorry to hear that. They need your constant babysitting, apparently. Oh, this is a long one. This is a long and sad one. My best friend kept her relationship with my ex a secret for nine months. During that time, she confront I confronted her, and she lied to my face. And I believed her until a week ago, and she cheating on the ex with three other boys. Well, this person's messy. This person's super messy, and they're your best friend? Goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. You're a messy little something. Why do I sing on here? I bet it's like so disturbing for you, those of you listening. Um, ooh, 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 messy, 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 messy human. Goodbye, I hope you friendship dump. Friendship breakups are very important. I am a full believer in a friendship breakup. I don't think they should come easily, but I do think they should be done. And obviously this is a situation in which it should be done. You're probably so hurt by that. If someone can lie to your face for nine months, that's wild. That's wild. And then they're also seeing a bunch of other people while seeing their best friend's ex. It's giving garbage, human. It is. My college roomie cheated on her boyfriend with a guy who had the exact same name as him. That's just so strange. Oh, why? I really don't agree with cheating. Who does? Who does? Um, but I really can't fathom it. Like, I really, it really, like, it goes in one ear and it comes out the other going, what the fuck? I don't understand. I don't understand how humans do this. Just tell the person. I get it. You're not attracted. You want to explore. Either say we need to have a conversation about our relationship because I'm feeling like I need to explore other things, or just break out up with them because maybe you just don't love them anymore and and it's time to go. But why hurt them like that? <clears throat> why break that trust? Why screw them up? Terrible, terrible. Also the same name. Really, really. That just makes it extra weird, and a weird coincidence. Kind of serious. My cousin who is financially abusing me for years is now claiming to be a victim of financial abuse herself. That's a fun one for you. I'm really sorry it's family, but you can cut out family. How about a family breakup? Sometimes those are necessary. Those are much harder to achieve. But sometimes they must be done. This person does not sound... Well, this person does sound like they need help. But it sounds like... Because I care about you because you're a rat. Like, you're in the rat chats. Like, you're... My bestie, essentially. I care about you in this situation and I think you just deserve better. So I don't know that you have to like spend the time to like help this person sort out whatever mess of crap is going on. But there's a mess of crap going on and I think you should remove yourself from it. I'm really sorry that's happening. I'll just be like, hey, sounds like it's not working here. Let's just <laughs> call it even and get the fuck out of each other's lives. Even though it's definitely not even. I just, I'm always like, just get out unscathed. I think that's like the best. How can I exit this situation? the least amount of scars the least amount of bruises because you don't need that in your life obviously you know that because this you said kind of serious and I'm really sorry that it is serious and I'm probably not answering this in a serious enough tone that's on me I'm not that serious of a human I really like weird humor but um I'm really sorry to hear that officially just serious voice I'm sorry not so serious voice get the freak out of there like the road runner bye goodbye how many times do we have to say goodbye to people today bye my bestie's boyfriend, okay, hold on. My bestie's boyfriend is gay and she just doesn't see it. Even though there is proof, what do I do? You do nothing. You do nothing. Someone's sexuality, it's not very nice to like go digging. And especially because if they're not communicating it with the world yet, they just might not be ready to communicate it with the world yet. So that's just not your business. Um, I know that would seem 
tough and it's your best friend and I'm sure you love your best friend very much. I'm sure this seems like a really tricky situation. It is a really tricky situation, but but it's just not a place for you, right? I don't think. I think you do nothing because it's just that's between them. This person has every right to just open up about how they feel about other peepees and wee-wees when they want to, just to do a little circle back on peepees, peepees and wee-wees because I think we needed to hear that again. Um, but no, I just, this is serious. Um, and uh, I don't give great advice, but my advice is definitely like, you don't do anything. And and that's like, because their relationship might definitely work. You don't actually know like the the scale at which they like anything. You don't know the scale at which your friend has chatted. Like, it's just so private. So you do nothing. I hope I answered that correctly because this is that sensitive material, right? Um, but at the end of the day, um, people's sexual orientations are like their own business and uh, very difficult to navigate for, for many, many, many reasons. So those, those don't touch that. That's not yours to touch. Your friend, you just support them. And um, at the end of the day, relationships... Again, it's a scale. It's not black and white. Like, you don't know what's going on there. So I would just leave that. Bestie, bestie is newly dating. Bestie, my bestie is newly dating my husband's friend, but he recently effed his ex. <laughs> okay, but did, did he cheat on your bestie? Why would you set her up with him? No, like, why would you do that? It seems like a bad friendship move. Why'd you do that? I'm kidding. I'm not trying to make you feel bad, but I am like, I'm curious now. I'm curious where you're like, this is like, oh my God, Mark is a great guy. Like Mark is so great. I should totally set Mark up with, with my friend. And then you're like stunned into silence when Mark actually turns out to be a bad person. Also like how long were they dating? And blah, 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 blah. Gosh, that stuff is messy. Stuff is complicated. None of this stuff tends to happen in my life. I feel like I'd be a good friend to give advice because I'm so, I love giving advice, but I don't know that my advice is good. But I do feel like the Libra in me uh, is good at giving advice because I can see both sides. In this equation, I don't like cheating ever. Like I said, don't understand it, don't understand it at all. But I guess, like again, I'm too old, I'm an old rat. Like situationships, like are they, are they in a committed verbal agreement? The babies, the babies, the babies. How many? How many times? Take a take a shot every time. <laughs> Peepees and weebies. Um, have we decided? You know. Have they de have they decided? I don't know. Um, I guess that would be like interesting, but I guess also like if they're in a situation ship, then you don't have to, right? Like, you but if they're dating and they verbally agreed, then and he cheated on your friend, then I'd probably tell my friend to get the f out of there. I don't know this man anything. Sorry, he's your husband's friend. But if he's not a good guy, help your friend out. But if there was, like, legitimate... Maybe it's just tea, and maybe you're just staying out of it. That's the other thing. I feel like I always give, like, the opposite advice. A lot of people are like, oh, stay out of it with cheating. I'm always like... I don't know if I'd stay out of it. I think I'd get too pissed off. I think I'd be like, mm, no, it's not okay, though. Mm, but also, that makes me a meddler, and I don't want to be a meddler. But... I feel like that would be just, like, so hard to sit back and watch. I guess it depends how serious things are. Because, like, the scale of hurt, obviously, would, 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 would matter in that situation. And I wouldn't want someone to stay in something that they were going to get, like, really hurt by. I think that would be, like, really scary to watch and not fun. Good luck with this. Definitely, again, not giving advice. No, no. I am not someone who should give advice. No, no, if you couldn't tell. And yet, in my brain, I think I should. In my brain, oh, you guys tell me, am I decent at it? I don't, I don't know. Um, that was all the submissions everyone sent in. It was really fun to read those actually. And I was so surprised I got so many. And I was like really happy about that. Cause I was like, oh, nobody's gonna write in. Um, that was really fun. Now I just wanna talk about like some tea in the world just to wrap up the episode, pop culture tea. And this is all allegedly, cause I'm a horrible source. I just hear things and wanna talk about them. Um, none of this is certified. <laughs> Um, the first one is Kate Middleton. I'm just finding it funny, but I'm also like, why do we care? Like, leave her alone. Leave her alone. Like, maybe something happened. Like, like, I didn't tell people about my type 1 diabetes, for example. And I'm not saying she's sick. I'm not saying any. I don't know. Nobody knows. 
I'm just saying, like, it took me a long time to decide to share that online. And I think everyone, every human has every right to wait to decide those things. Because sometimes you don't have the words yet. Sometimes it feels better to feel strong about something, more confident about something, or to have more inner understanding of something before you share it with that many people. But I do find it funny. The photoshopping was just dumb. Alleged. <laughs> um, but it was just so dumb. Why would they do that? And now that the rumors have sparked... They're probably going to do other weird stuff. And it's just like, you know, just stay quiet. You don't owe anyone anything. You don't need to tell us what happened to Kate. We will eventually find out when Kate is ready. Or maybe we won't. I just feel like the royal family just like... They need like to get one pop culture girly on their team. They need one girly pop in there. With all the fuddy-duddies doing like the typical royal coverage and PR management whatever goes on there I don't know but they obviously have a team of sorts right keeping the, the media at bay and all this shit they need one girly pop to just give the odd tip like what you should do right now actually guys is, is probably this or like make a joke or like just like we need a little creativity with how they deal with these scandals because it's bad they need more girly pops in the office because the way the royal family deals with these little scandals and these little weirdnesses that, that people pick up on they don't navigate them well. Get a curly pop. Another thing we could talk about is like the Ariana Grande of it all. Um, I don't know what's going on there, but I do love how she just came up with a song and was like, yes, and. I do love that. She has a girly pop on her team, right? Being like, this is what we should do. Or she is the girly pop. That's just like, I know exactly how to navigate this. Shut it right down. <laughs> like, I just am like, and. I love that. Yes, and. Oh my god, do I love that. And I'm not saying I love anything that's allegedly been done. Um, I think it's like an interesting situation, of course. But I do love that response to drama. That's a good, that's a good bit of fun. Say that shit with your chest. Also love that sentence. I do love that. Say that shit with your chest. Ooh, I didn't really talk about this last week, but it's like personal tea. Sometimes influencers are mean, and I know you see that online. And I feel like I meet like a lot of really nice influencers. I would say 90% are super nice. And then there just is that 10%, but that's just the world, right? Like any workplace has like 90% decent people and then 10% not so decent people. I'll tell you a story. One time I was on, I mean, okay, I can't, I can't give too many details. One time I was walking with two other influencers and one of them wouldn't talk to me. Like, I just was noticing, like, wow, this person is not engaging with me. Like, maybe I'm being annoying. Don't know what it is. Then the other influencer in the conversation mentioned how many followers I had. And then that other influencer started talking to me. So I guess they don't talk to people that aren't worth their time? Question mark? Allegedly. I think I might have to wrap up the the episode here, my rats, just because, um, I think that's, that's all everyone wrote in on. And I, I'm really not up to that date on, on, uh, pop culture -y things. And I think, you know, maybe a short episode's good. You guys let me know. I'm kind of really enjoying just doing solo episodes and then having the odd guest on. I think I really enjoy that. I like talking with you guys. It's a lot of fun, especially when we do these chats like this. If you have time, write a rating and review for the podcast. That is genuinely very, very, very helpful. Um, and then we can grow our rat community. Um, Anyways, I love you guys so much. And uh, yeah, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on TikTok. Don't use the rat emoji anymore. That rat emoji is canceled. We're going to use the gray heart. And I love you so much. And yeah, uh, subscribe. Watch this on YouTube. Give it a like. Whatever else. Love you guys. No, not love you. Rats. That's the end of the podcast. Rats. Nope, that's not the end of the podcast. Rats. That's the end of the episode.